So we got a call for a stuck dump truck. It's been stuck for about three months and it will not start. So the brakes are locked up. One of the biggest issues with this dump truck is it's I don't know, four or five miles from pavement and down a bunch of mountain back roads, across a couple creek crossings, and down a long, long gravel driveway with another creek crossing. This is a hunt club or a hunting cabin, um, so it's not very easily accessible. And it goes through a stream. He says it does flood. We're going to use an air compressor to air up the air tanks and get the brakes released. And wouldn't you know it, the fittings don't fit in the fitting on the air tank, so we're going to have to swap it out. So I'll have to swap that. Wouldn't expect too much out of that battery right there. Is it dead? Could be. If it is, we'll, we'll pull over here. Then you said it wouldn't start after. Uh... Well, I think it might have hit an oil switch or something. <laughs> All right, we got air pressure. Let's see if the brakes release. And yes, we're using $50 Harbor Freight Snatch Box. We're running from the record boom to one side back to the wrecker itself. And then from the record boom to the other side to a dead man or the tree over there for a double two to one. It did start sliding the record with just the anchor spade, so we're adding the scotch blocks to it. Well, she is out. Let's see if we can get the customer in there to hold the steering wheel straight while we pull it a little bit farther and then figure out where he wants to get it parked. Hey, 
He said when he got it stuck that it uh, would not run anymore, so he thought maybe he broke off a low oil pressure sensor or something underneath preventing it from running. So we're just checking everything out to see why it won't start. And we can't find anything. There's nothing broken, nothing tore off, no sensors in the way, nothing. Maybe it just didn't like being on an angle. I don't know. So it must have leaked out a bunch of air. That's why this tire's locked up. I didn't realize at the time or I would have just added more air to it. Slow and steady wins the race. <laughs> Since we can't find anything broke off the bottom side, we're just going to try to prime the fuel up and see if we can get it started. After about 10 minutes, we got a little bit of drippage coming out of the primer, which is not a good sign, but it does tell us we got fuel up there, so we're going to try it. Since it's been stuck a few or three months, it's probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So since it won't start, we're just going to rig up a kinetic rope and we've got to pull it about 500 yards up to the actual cabin because this field will flood when it starts raining during the raining season, which is like next month. Oh, there it goes. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, look how smoky. He was using this dump truck to bring in crushed uh, concrete like this pile right here. That's actually what was in the back. And after he got stuck, he threw it out one piece at a time and moved it over there with his pickup. But he's just trying to fix this uh, driveway here to goes back to his hunting cabin, which is like a quarter mile long.